Welcome back to R&R Sugarloaf Farm, everyone. Um, I would like to talk about today on Permilla Mint, on if it's safe or not for goats. Um, it's an invasive weed, uh, and it comes up late summer, early fall uh, around here. And I'll show y'all, it comes up everywhere. Um, but we're just gonna kinda go over the facts the pros and cons of it if it needs to stay around if it needs to go if you can mow it down if not and if it's poisonous to the goats so as you can see around spin here these little areas here and over here this is actually the permilla mint um i'll get a close-up so um it comes up and it looks as if it some will kind of look like it's got purple leaves but it doesn't this is what it is so blackberry and blueberry have decided to come out um so today's topic is on perilla mint um so it's a weed that is poisonous to ruminant animals including horses um so it's pretty much almost all your livestock animals uh, goats typically won't eat it. They'll eat around it. Um, but if it's the only vegetation that they have as far as a source, then they will eat it. Just like any other thing. If they don't have... Thank you, Kit Kat. Oh my goodness, Kit Kat. Okay, so, um, if it's the only thing around that the goats have as far as forage then yes they'll eat it just like any other plant and stuff if they're limited to only one item around them then yes they'll eat it regardless of if it's poisonous to them now hi blueberry all right so it gets to be somewhere between uh four to six inches at its height this is um old and so it's the tallest which is about a foot. Um, Sadie, get back over here. Sadie. Sadie's in trouble. She's not allowed to be with the goats. Okay. So, if your goats get into it, um, yes, it can cause, it is going to affect them as if a poison. Now, within about 24 hours of them consuming it, they could have upper respiratory um, issues as far as um, heavy breathing, labored breathing. Um, it just depends on how much they got into, how where the plant is in its life cycle, if it's young, if it's old. Um, it depends on that. And so that that takes the place as far as um the symptoms and causes as far as the goats eating it okay so with the perilla mint um it can cause uh respiratory issues like emphysema problems with heavy labored breathing um it's uh not good on any ruminant animals uh or goats any uh, pretty much all your ruminant livestock animals and and that includes horses even though they aren't ruminant animals um, It is poisonous to them If they eat it we haven't ever had an issue here um, But every year something else kind of creeps up. So the perilla mint is Usually kind of come up in the shaded areas of your pasture um from about July to October uh, it'll first come up and it will create like these long stem uh, little flowers which once it goes through that phase then it'll just keep growing and the flowers die off now all of ours the flowers are gone so I don't have a way of showing y'all um, but it gets anywhere from one to three foot high once it's completely grown and mature uh, so um just be on the lookout uh it's something that we always have to watch for here and it usually takes um 
whenever it does come up in your pasture, it usually takes some sort of uh, pesticide, or not pesticide, herbicide to um, get rid of it. Uh, and we usually are mowing it down and stuff, which is not recommended um, because all that does is spread, spread it to where it grows back more. But that's what we're able to do um, because the uh, herbicides, you know, they can get pretty expensive at times, especially depending on how much you need. And then the way that you need to spray them. But just keep that in mind. If you do have goats or livestock um, and have a problem with Perilla Mint, then um, keep an eye out for your animals and hopefully you can use some sort of herbicide to eradicate them. Here's Blueberry. She's hanging out with Luna and she is not eating the mint, which is good. Hi, Black, or Blueberry. Hi, Blueberry. All right, everyone, so that concludes this video. Um, I hope that y'all have, if y'all have a Perilla mint problem in your field, I hope that you find a way to um, get rid of it. Uh, and hopefully you don't have any problems with your goats eating it. Um, if you do, you can use activate. <laughs> to where your goats do eat it um, or if they eat something poisonous you can give them um, a dose of activated charcoal to offset it or oh, you can give baking soda um, mixed with water to where it creates a paste and you can drench them um, that is just a temporary um, fix I don't know it's just a temporary fix and then you'll need to get get them to uh, your local vet um, and so that they can try to pump their stomach um, like I said earlier in the video uh, we have never even though we do have perilla mint on the property we have never had a goat try to eat it and get sick from it um, so our goats might have some in their system, but it's not um, going to be enough to poison them. So, <laughs> I hope this video helped y'all. And we're going to go do chores and hopefully not get attacked by any more lovable goats. See y'all later. Bye.